All right, so here's a tip for posterior knee pain. I had a client I trained today, uh, professional football player. He has a history of knee pain with uh, any type of resisted knee flexion. Usually the, the pain is posterior, so here's what we did today to fix it. <clears throat> uh, we started with, uh, actually we did a Thomas stretch just because we typically do that, just kind of increase his range of motion. He also had limited range of motion and knee flexion, so we did that to free up more knee flexion. Um, we followed up with really what's going to help fix the posterior knee pain. We followed up with uh, supine uh, bent knee hamstring stretch. And um, he's pretty flexible, so we, we basically flex his hip to 90 degrees. And then I use one of my arms to kind of brace behind his thigh. After that, we have him go into knee extension. And then we do a PNF stretch where he's actually, I, I hook the heel with one hand, and he's actually trying to go ahead and go into uh, knee flexion. So we resist that for eight seconds. We do several cycles. After that, after several cycles of that, if we can get a little more hip flexion, we go into that, and that's what we did with Jamie. It's pretty flexible, and we did about three or four more cycles. We followed that up with uh, some standing calf extension, and we actually did kind of a drop set, but we actually did an ascending load, and we did three sets of eight all, all back to back, and we focused on a two-second pause and uh, going off the ball of the foot. And so the purpose here was to stretch the hamstring because he has a posterior knee pain and then to actually activate the calf, the gastroc, to stabilize the knee. After this, we went and retested it in the leg curl and pain was 100% gone. So it's a good protocol for posterior knee pain.